Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about booster packs and then opening older packs for and why you should do it even if you lose value. And a lot of what I say is anti-MTG finance and but it's more about like having a good time and having fun and things of that nature. So these are just loose booster packs from boxes. Um, this is the Patreon box that I still have to finish off sometime soon. And everyone's doing Eldritch Moon, so no one's doing RTR right now, or Gatecrash, or um, any other sets, because, I mean, it makes sense. Eldritch Moon just came out, why not do Eldritch Moon? And I'll talk about older packs, because there's some older packs here, and whether or not that you should open them, or keep them sealed, and something like that. So older packs are obviously more expensive, and they have much more value sealed than not sealed. At the same time, when people tell me like, oh, you should never open packs, I'm like, why? Like, why would you not open a pack? And I think we're going to open, I have a Shadows pack here. We'll open the Shadows pack at the end of the video. But even older packs, the whole point of like having them, in my opinion, is to open them. Yeah, they go up in value, they go up in value, and it's not a great expected value, but... From the terms of enjoyment, nothing gives me more enjoyment than opening older packs, but I don't want to shoot videos on it. I don't know. I don't typically like opening pack videos, and that's why you see that I don't do pre-release openings anymore. I don't do... I mean, I I can still get that stuff a little bit beforehand, but I would rather just have fun with my friends than, you know... Anyway, when people say, like, hey, don't open packs, always get, you know, store credit, or that makes sense if you're trying to build a deck and you can't afford it, but if you can't afford it, opening packs, especially prize packs, which you win, I feel like is extremely fun. And one of the best things is when everyone gets a pack, it's pre-released, everyone wins a pack, and you're just opening it with everyone else, and you can see what you get, you can see what the person next to you gets, I think that's a really community building exercise and you don't want to be that deuce who doesn't open packs, right? Like when everyone else is opening their packs. You're like, oh no, I need to get store credit to retain my value. You know, Magic is a game. It's a collectible game. Yes, it does have value. And yes, some of these older packs, had I not opened it, like Morning Tide or Evening Tide. I don't know what else is in here. Champions and the Judgment. Yes. If I didn't open them, they would have more value today than had I opened them and got a bulk card, because likely you will get bulk. But at the same time, if you play the game to enjoy the game, part of the game is opening packs, and that is one of the most enjoyable parts of the game to me. I just don't like shooting videos about it, because I'm going to... like When I open packs by myself, I don't read the names of the cards, right? I don't butcher the names of the cards that you guys criticize me so heavily on and it's just a fun experience with my friends to see what I got what they got and what everyone it's nice to share it with you guys as well but it's something different like I think magic has to be done in person that's my opinion anyway so we'll see what we got Ooh, this is a very pretty Falia not as pretty as the actual Falia Face recognition, we got broken concentration, biting rain, some type of blob, and neglected heirloom um, blobs. So yeah, you're never really going to get your value back. Um, I know that people want to get value from pack openings and things of that nature. It's just not going to happen. If you can make money from buying a standard booster box right now, at whatever you buy for it, then the distributor or the store will not sell it to you at that price because they would open it instead. But because they don't make money from breaking boxes as singles, un unless they're doing it very early on at pre-release hype prices, then no, then they will sell you a box, right? Think about it economically. If there's more value in the packs than there are in the money that you pay for the box, right? then the store would never sell it to you. They would just open all the product, all the time. But because you can get cards like this, right? And this is the typical type of uh, booster pack you get, you're gonna lose value. Um, I, if this was $4 a pack, I probably lost $3 and 
75 cents of value. I'm assuming this is like worth 25 cents if I tried to sell it on TCG Player. Maybe less. So open, it's even worse for like older packs, Evening Tide, Morning Tide, all of these packs, you're gonna get butchered in value. Uh, Zendikar, you get butchered in value, but open them still, because that's part of the game. The game is not sit around, collect your magic packs, don't open them, look at your magic. The game is not to look at magic cards and do nothing with them, right? The game is to play the card game, to interact with the community, to be part of the community. So one of the things I feel like if everyone's opening packs and you get prize payout, it's really fun to let newer players open your packs. Because to me, I know I'm going to get these blobs all the time. And But a new player is like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't get that blob, but I got it for you. <laughs> and it makes them feel happy, so why not? Like, I always, when I win at pre-release, I if it's like a blob card like this and we open it, I'll just give it to a new player because it doesn't, I already have too many of this type of card. Anyways, bye guys.